Hi guys, welcome to Placement Drive. I am Sashant and uh, welcome to the lead code series. Uh, now today's problem is problem number 136 which is a single, num single number. Um, it, uh, problem states that given a non-empty array of integers, uh, every, every element appears twice except for one. Find the single one. We must implement the solution with linear runtime complexity and use only constant external space. Okay, we will we'll be given an array which uh, every element has uh, every element will be repeated twice except for one and we should find the single element which is the unique element now uh, guys just pause the video and think of uh, any other solutions you can come up, come up with uh, if you can't no problem i am here to help you uh, by reading this problem i came up with two, two to three solutions the first solution is count the array, array elements using hash map you can use hash map hash map so, stores uh, uh, stores a uh, key and a value key value pairs so we can have uh, the array element as key and uh, uh, its count as value and we can do that but it will take n log n time complexity we should solve solve it in linear time so we can't use uh, this approach and another approach I, uh, I came up with is uh, we can just search the array and compare uh, first element and, uh, and the second element and the next element uh, but sorting itself takes uh, log n time and uh, if we compare it to look at another n, n time complexity which is also an n log n time complexity so we can't use this also our goal is to solve it in linear time uh, that's when i came up, uh, i found a solution which is very very easy it's, it's just uh, two to three lines two to three lines of code but it this approach will be useful useful for uh, you uh, even in solving medium lower or hard load problems uh, it is that kind of an approach so uh, getting to know this is very important and uh, um, these questions may be uh, may, may is a frequently asked questions in number of interviews uh, so it's very essential that you should know it uh, for 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 our solution we should need a basic knowledge for, of uh, logical operations like and or and xor uh, as you guys know i'll just uh, give a give a brief uh, recap on uh, uh, logical operations and in logical operation and uh, one is represented as true and the zero is represented as false you can also uh, also uh, in binary operations we can use it uh, for now let's take it as a binary operations uh, if one if we uh, if you and if you and use under operation in one and one we will get one as one if we give under operation uh, if you use under operation for one and zero we will get zero as an output if we give under operation for 0 and 1, we get 1, and if for 0 and 0, we get 1. It's nothing, if it's 0 and 0, we get 0. Sorry, it's my mistake. It's nothing but you should have 1 on the, if you have a same number on both sides to get the same number, this side. If any, either of the 1 is 0, we will get only 0 in under operations. We should have both as true to get true. If either one of it's false, it's false only in under operation. In our, in our operations, the case is different. Either side is one. If either side is one, we'll get output as one. One one will get one. One zero will get one. Zero one will get one. Only for zero zero we'll get zero. If both are false only, we'll get false. If either of its true means we'll get true only. Whereas in XR operation is quite different. One and one will get zero, and zero and zero will get zero. But if for one zero and zero one, we'll get one as output. Nothing but for different elements, we'll get uh, one as an output. If they're the same. Uh, elements will get zero as an output. So we are going to use this XR operation only for our problem. Let's let, let's take for uh, let's take example one. Here the array is two, two, and one. And if you use XR, if we use XR and add all the uh, if you use XR and add all the elements of the array, if two XR two gives both are same, so it gives zero. And zero XR one gives one. We know zero XR one gives one. So we will get one as an output, which is the unique element in the array. Nothing but if if uh, if a even number of even if a number repeats even number of time, it will get cancelled. That's the basic logic for XR operation. Uh, let's see in this operation. I'll I'll just explain the binary operation which goes into it for for for, for better understanding. But just think, if you see a problem where a uh, number of uh, numbers uh, repeating uh, even number of times and we should you are you are asked to uh, you are asked to 
and give the give the output of a number which is unique you can use xr you should you, you can use plainly xr don't worry about uh, what goes under uh, in binary operations now let's take this solution we are going to just uh, uh, for XR1 and, we'll, uh, and we'll, we are going to do XR for everything. If you do, if you see bluntly, this one and this one will get cancelled. This two and this two will get, will get cancelled and you'll get four. Yeah, this is right. But this uh, this won't happen in, uh, in in computer logic. The thing which happens is it will it will separate everything into binary. Like for a binary value of four is one zero zero. For one is zero zero one, for two is one zero one, and uh, uh, same as follows. Now we are going to XR as per uh, as per binary. Let's see. From we, we, let's go from last digit. Zero and one is one, and one and zero is one. One and one is zero. Zero and zero is zero. So here zero will come. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 1. 1 and 1 is 0. Now I get 0 here. So here. 1 and 0 is 1. 0 and 0. Sorry, 1 and 0 is 1. 1 and 0 is 1 again. 1 and 0 is 1 again. 1 and 0 is 1 again. Now I get 1 here. So the answer is 4. The binary representative of 100 zero zero is 4 which is the unique element in this array. This is how the logic works. Uh, just pause the video or rewind the video and see again. This is a very easy approach, very uh, logical approach. If you know this approach, you can solve many questions which uh, comes in the future, many median order questions which comes in the future. XR operation is a very uh, what say, frequently asked problem in uh, interviews also. So please uh, pause the video and rewind again. Or uh, if you have any difficulty in understanding, please uh, leave a comment. If you have any uh, doubts in understanding, please leave a comment. Now let's get into the solution. Uh, yeah. Like first, what we should do? We need the length of the. Uh, we are going to use for loop, so we need the length of the array. Let me stop. Now next, what we need? We need a answer to store our exact values. Now we are going to just put a simple for loop. All everyone know that int equal to zero. I plus n i plus plus. Now what are we going to do inside it? Yeah, just like we saw in the so in the logic part, we are going to XR everything. Every element of the array will get passed. And it will get XR to our answer. You can write like this, or you can like take this also. It's your wish. So equal to right. both the same. After that, we are going to just return the answer. I so like can you guys find the simple silly mistake I did? i is just nothing but a number i is just an index you should get a number what and silly mistake and see that if we do this type of mistakes only we will learn so no issues learning from the mistakes no, 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 it's 100 percent pass no problem yeah now let's submit and see if all test cases are passing absolutely uh, we have solved it in more than 99% of people in one millisecond. So I hope you understand this uh, pretty well. And uh, if you have any doubts or if you have any uh, problem in understanding or my any uh, some improvements uh, or some uh, to say suggestions for me to improve in my teaching, you can leave it. You can leave it in the comment. And if you want solution for any other question you are trying to solve, you can also leave that in comment. I will put uh, next video will be based on that question. And uh, please leave a like and uh, share this to your friends. And uh, I hope I uh, help someone. Thank you.